Hi, my name is Steven Silver, and this, what you're about to see, is just one sample of a student critique that I give to my students on a weekly basis at schoolism.com. I teach the character design course on there. It's a nine-week course. Each week, what you do is you get to watch videos that I've put together. They run anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours long. You will get your homework assignment at the end of the week. You do it, you turn it in the next week, and I go over it just like this with video and audio capture as I'm going over your work just one-on-one. -on -one. So it's so much better sometimes than being there live with you because I can really focus all my attention and we cover everything. We're discussing anything from the concept of design to understanding drawing concepts to understanding turnarounds doing cleanup construction you name it anything involved in character design because that's what I do I cover in this course my next course is coming up around every 10 weeks I start a new semester my next semester is starting in April and then the following nine weeks after that I'll have another semester starting so all you have to do is go to schoolism.com go to courses and lessons and you'll see character design by Steven Silver you can sign up there space is limited so be sure to sign up when you get the chance and I hope to see you in the classroom thanks I think the one thing that we're missing on the side view um, I think it's just feeling a little you know cramped I almost kind of feel like we have this shape and his armor feels so big that I feel like we're just kind of missing just a little bit of you know that sort of uh, bulkiness um, you know within that and then you have his legs make sure that you sort of keep him skinny through there and then this arm I like you know the arms and everything looks good that you have going on pulling that back just a bit I almost feel like you know it's almost like getting this drawing um, you know flushing it in you know real sort of you know roughly through here and it's almost like getting this sort of head you know if you can almost like get this drawing just at this level even though it's not exact at this point you know and then you start to tie everything you know in into your guy but maybe sort of pulling this head out and popping out some of these shapes, you know, just a little bit more with your with your design, breaking up some of those shapes, I think would really help it as you have the sort of overlaps, because this is still going to overlap, but sort of breaking that shape and getting that feeling of this whole sort of suit underneath, I think would really help um, in your side view, instead of like cramming it so much to where this plate doesn't really necessarily feel like armor anymore. So you want to make sure that you're kind of maintaining that sort of nice round overlap oval sort of feeling through there and then the back three quarter view um, I think just the biggest thing that's sort of missing is just the feeling of that sort of back three quarter view where you just kind of want to try to follow that shape just a little bit more you know it's like you, yeah, as when I talked about sort of tracing things you know you trace it to an extent but really you want to make sure that you're kind of capturing you know that back uh, that back three quarter view and on and remember as you're kind of turning him that way this arm is in the foreground that's the one that's going to be dropped down this arm is going to be the one that's sort of bent inwards and this arm's going to be you know coming this way and then you're going to have his you know hand sort of hanging you know through here through there that arm sort of bent again finding that sort of you know but shape again it's like breaking down into the basic shapes I think that needs to just be pulled out and overlap just a little bit more always sort of keeping in mind which direction you know things are going you know with this guy get those heels on those boots through there and knock those through there okay and then we have this I almost feels like this just kind of needs to be moved over just a lot more and then I think everything else that you have going on is you know fine maybe you'll show a bit of his ear you know underneath that hat you know remember to sort of just kind of draw through your shapes you know and I almost feel like it needs to kind of maybe do something like this you know on the sort of back of the shape of the hat again sort of taking that front three that front three quarter uh, view aspect of this guy so let me lose that design so here you can kind of see how I'm just kind of following this arc and just more of the perspective of the body so it's sort of really helpful just again to you know always be practicing you know this and like drawing people and again thinking about the perspective thinking about the sort of box shape that someone would be in 
you know, if I have this uh, box shape through here, you know, and on the sort of ground plane through here, and I have someone just kind of standing. And their foot's there, and their other foot's maybe there. I'm going to find the back view.